Hi friend, David here from Learn Christmas Lighting. Welcome, and in these next few videos, uh, this week and, and a couple weeks after, I want to explore in X-Lights some features that, especially if you're new to sequencing, you may not be aware of, but they can really help you out to make a more interesting sequence and a more interesting display. Ultimately, as I always say, um, these things, uh, they're either going to save you time, make things look more awesome, or a bit of both worlds. And so let's dive in. The first thing that I want to show you is layers and layer blending. So this here is my Valentine's Day sequence. Um, it's just a heart on the, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, ripple effect. Going from the center, exploding out. It just ran over and over, which was good. Um, you know, we were going to do like a musical show and all that jazz, and I just ran out of time. And that's okay because there was an ice storm coming in on Valentine's Day in the evening. And so not that many people saw it. Um, but you see here, I've got my all group here, and I did something special on it. I right-clicked and inserted a layer below. And what that does is it enables you to stack multiple layers on top of each other. Now... This is going to work just like photo editing programs or something like this. So for this example, the way that I started out this sequence was I just came in and I was like, okay, do the exploding heart effect on ripple. Maybe I'll pop in red. And I was like, oh, okay. And, and I look at it and I'm like, you know, it's just not that exciting. And so I've got my all group here and it's just, you know, quick sequence. So I had it on my all group, right? And so if I didn't add in a second layer, um, what are my options to, to make this look better? Well, I could start to bring in, I'm um, going back to white, you know, I could start to bring in a, a background on my various uh, different props here. You know, maybe I bring my windows, um, but ultimately it doesn't look good and it kind of covers up things. Um, remember in X lights, when we're working here in the sequencer, one thing to remember is, and this, this feels backwards to me a lot of times, is that the lower props on this list on your display list here whatever's lower actually takes precedence actually um has a higher priority but when we add layers say we add a second layer here i'm just gonna paste my uh previous effect or just undo till i get there when we use layers we'll force this render um, it's actually the opposite. So within layers, within a given group or prop here in X lights, um, it's, it's the top one, which is the highest priority. And as you go down there, a lower priority, there are layers underneath. So at the surface level, the layers are pretty cool, enabling you to stack a number of things together. Like maybe I add a couple more layers in and I build something else. So we have one heart and maybe we just go and just do some other hearts uh, and we make, um, you know, a nice, I think I want to go with like a nice magenta. So now there's a heart that um, is a little bit behind in time. And so as you can see what we did there, we'll make this a little bigger so it's a little easier to see, is we now have a secondary heart that's following the first in a different color. Okay, that's cool. You know, you can copy that again, of course. With timing, it makes these things easy to line up, but even without timing, it works pretty well. Then maybe we do a third color. Okay, okay, this is getting more interesting. And then the last part of layering, not only is stacking up multiple things together in some nice layers like this, but also the layer blending. So the layer blending is in this, this layer blending settings, and it allows you to do a couple things. Um, it's going to show you, and it actually shows you when you mouse over here, how the layers relate. So normal is like this, okay? In normal mode, as, as you can see, um, the two layers just, you know, are basically on top of each other, right? Like even when I just had two, we'll go back to that real quick. When I just had two, um, it basically just puts the, the ripple, which is white, over top of the solid red, the white's higher, and so I mean, vertically, and so it takes the highest priority, and we see it where there is white, we see the white where there's black effectively in this this uh, ripple, then um, there's, not, there's red, it shows through from below. But there's a lot of different options here that are worth looking at. So first things is we have, as you can go down the list, effect one and two. 
So these just literally just, okay, that's only effect one, that's only effect two. Not really that exciting. Masking is where we get into some interesting stuff here. So masking is where now you see we've got basically just black wherever the higher layer, which we've got one is mask, so this is the higher layer. Um, it, it tells us that between these two layers, the relation is that one is masked. So it's all red, but then wherever there's the white, it shows up as black, and it's a mask. If we flip it, don't know if this will do anything in this particular, but it would make two the mask. It's not going to do anything because it's it's solid red the whole way across. So let that render through. Um, then there's the unmask options, which really is just literally the opposite. Um, it, it's a little bit different in the sense that, okay, two being unmasked means that whatever is in two, in this case solid red, unmasks. But then if we do, um, if we select our layer again. We do one is unmask. Now we see, okay, it's solid red. Uh, it's kind of a reverse heart explosion, right? Um, and so there's a lot of different options here um, with uh, different layers, adding, subtracting, max and min. Uh, the ones that I can tell you I work with the most is normal and the mask ones. Um, maybe you work with other things, but ultimately, uh, with, like anything in X Lights, the biggest thing I can recommend and when you're sequencing your show is uh, for your first year, again, don't go overboard. Uh, but in the future, if you're like, hey, I want to get more into sequencing, I want to do more interesting stuff, uh, playing around with the layer blending settings, uh, these, these right here that allow you to bring these two layers together in different ways, can really add uh, some nuance and, and some really great effects to your show. I mean, you can see this here is something that I would not have been able to create without utilizing that layer blending. Or even if I could create it, say I put my all group on the bottom in my display elements just by right clicking edit display elements, I could have gone ahead and moved my all group to the bottom. And then for all my other groups, I could have placed this red background, but that would have been a lot more work for exactly the same effect. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. And if you are brand new to Christmas lighting, head over to learnchristmaslighting.com. I've got a free guide that I want to get into your hands. The three things you need to know before you buy any Christmas lighting gear this season. I want to save you time. I want to save you frustration. And I want to save you money. I don't want you to buy things you don't need because that happens a lot in this hobby. So we'll see you on the site and we'll see you here next week. Thanks.